We're making progress. Hi everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel and coming up on this episode, we are back at that restoration of our fairy tale English cottage. Sorry that there's been a little bit of a lull, but Christmas uh, got in the way and so did the new year. But we're back and today's episode, you are gonna get a, uh, an inside peek into the, uh, again, more of the restoration what we're doing with those beautiful timber floors. And I have a go at trying to make them look good. So this um, episode is basically all about you. It is. It's, it is and, well, and the restoration of our fairy tale cottage, which will be available which for is rental, all about you. rentals soon. Well, it, it's just because I'm project manager on it. She's, she's taken over the channel. So I, don't no, know what, I don't know what to no. do. I Pro can't get a scene you, in Edgeway. You, well, why don't you say what else is coming up on this episode? Besides the restoration, we do paint colors. There's sand. We pick the paint colors. I think you're going to love them. There's sanding. I hear, the, and in, I hear the sanding didn't go to plan. Well, I don't know. You've got to watch the episode. I don't think it went to plan. <laughs> I think you've got to watch I, the episode. I don't think many things have gone to plan on the fairy tale cottage restoration. Well, it's because there was... There's always reasons, Christmas. aren't there? There's always reasons. We can always all come up with a hundred reasons. Um, anyway. But also, I do want to say quickly that our last video where we talked about giving up uh, yoga retreats and we're doing something exciting, it's not that I'm giving up yoga uh, entirely. Of course not. It's a part of my life. I practice every day. But all those wonderful uh, builders at Keeper's Cottage, I might have given them a little bit of a yoga lesson over there. Stay tuned. <laughs> builders doing yoga. That's now, that's, right. That's quite a sight. What will they think of? Goats? I Actually, there is goat yoga. There is. That's even crazy. But you are in a scene in this one. Okay, I am in a scene because we had some wonderful guests arrive from Italy. Well, yes, but they're big YouTubers. So we collaborated with um, a really, really fun couple from Italy. Everybody knows that I have a little house in Italy as well. And so it was really fun for me to speak a little bit of Italian. So Nikki and Carlo... Uh, from Nikki Positano is the channel make an appearance at Mapperton yeah, later on in this video. Now we just wait. Um, we better not go on too much because there are a few other things to say. First of all, today we are in the library, and you may have noticed that Julie is sitting taller than I am. Well, and I'm also. A, it feels a little odd to me. I'm kind of I'm kind mm, of small. It's quite nice. And that's because you are in the fabulous Dutch Burgermeister's chair here which has a family Straight story off. linked to it. And the family story is that this is the chair in which King Charles II came back to the UK from Holland when he was brought back by my ancestor, uh, Edward Montague, the first Earl of Sandwich. Now, there is a slight twist in the tale, mm -hmm. which is that um, whilst through the ages that's been the story, we did mm -hmm. have I like a, that story. an expert look at it more recently, and he said he thinks that the chair is about 10 years too late for the date of the restoration. But Which we was... choose not to believe that because that's no fun. Our story is much better. When was the date of the restoration? And, and, and um, you are sitting oh. in the chair where there's actually some damage. So it's an example, but be, be careful. Oh, people people oh, oh, aren't dear. supposed to sit on oh, it. Oh, well, why but, did you give me this chair? But you chair? can see that some of the material here well, I don't is, want to... is very fragile. So Maybe you, I should just sit on sit. the floor. No, Okay, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I now don't want to sit on the chair well, anymore. You can sit on it, but, but carefully. I am, that's, I am, I am. What are you doing? Oh, so what, what year was the restoration? I know this. Uh, the restoration was... What year was this? 1661. Mm. No, 1660. There you 1660. go. 1660, that's a year off. 1660. I was going to say 1660. So you think that this is 10 years old? Anyway, I still anyway. believe in the story that King Charles II sat in this chair, but clearly I'm not allowed to. Now, <laughs> there is a problem with you sitting there, which is that we can't see you on the other camera. I can sit on your lap. Oh, <laughs> who'd like to see that? I would. Come on, up you get. Okay. No, but don't, don't crowd me out. <laughs> Look at this, she's absolutely... Okay, should we get on with the episode now? I think we should probably get, get on. on. Yeah, so oh, we've got oh, Word of the Week. Word of the Week. Historic. And before Historic House Word of the Week, 
I want to remind everybody of the wonderful opportunity that there is to become a patron of Mapperton by going to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. We absolutely rely on our patrons for their support for all of the things that we have to do here at Mapperton. That chair, maybe eventually. We've got so many restoration projects um, and the reality of these places is even though they are wonderful, um, they are very, very hard to sustain financially. And um, it's thanks to the help of our patrons that we're able to do the restoration projects that we have here. So please consider becoming a patron. And some of them are also coming on the Grand Historic Tour that we have happening in October. We've got a couple of places left. It's almost sold out. Amazing. Go to grandhistorictours.com if you're interested in finding out more about coming to stay at Mapperton with Julie and with me. And, and one more thing, if you can't become a patron, that's of course okay, but do subscribe to our channel because that's free and that helps us as well. Week. Historic House Word of the Week. I thought that this week we would go for the word entail. Mm -hmm. And it's actually Historic House Quiz of Julie of the Week because I like to see whether she knows what these words are. Yeah, so I do entail. know what an entail is, mm. but it goes on and I, I mean, so basically when you inherit uh, historic houses and you uh, then you can what's called break the entail. That's not bad. She's done incredibly well. Thank so, you. Thank so you. The, the entail is the way in which um, historic houses and estates in Britain are for the most part inherited through the ages. Um, the entail is the uh, inheritance route so when you talk about a male entail, it means that it goes down through the oldest born son. Now, I think we can all agree that today that's absolutely anachronistic and not the way things should be in the kind of society that we all want to live in. But a lot of these things are written into law. So it's incredibly hard yeah. to change. And um, uh, anyway, that's our, our word of yeah, the week. Yeah, word of the week, yeah, entail. entail. I knew it too. She, she, she did well. Okay. On, on with the episode. On with the episode. <laughs> All right, we're, we're here. How exciting, because I haven't been for a while. <laughs> And it sounds like an awful lot is going on there's, inside. Finally, there's a lot going on, everybody. And of course, we have Malcolm, um, interior designer extraordinaire. You might recognize him because he also, um, well, he's done all the renovations and that we've done in the main house yep. and in Garden Cottage, which you can find on Airbnb, and now Keeper's Cottage we're doing, which will be on Airbnb, and kindly my little house in Italy. And we have well, fun, indeed. don't we? Yes, site <laughs> visit plan soon. Yeah, we do have fun. So, um, so everybody, we're here today at uh, Keeper's Cottage, our English uh, fairy tale cottage, and there's a lot going on. So there's sanding of the floors, of the beautiful timber floors, and we will be um, making sure that uh, those get sanded properly. I'm gonna have a little uh, go at those as well. And then we're gonna look at paint colors right now. Yeah, so, so that's so fun. Paint colors with me. This looks good. We've got the chimney out, yeah. which is a great help because now we can start to mark out where all the kitchen units are going to go, which is important because what we then need to do is start marking up on this wall where all our sockets will go. Right. So, okay. Um, and those are in the plans, aren't they? <clears throat> I've marked them on design. the drawing, but yep. at the moment we just need to get a more accurate dimension. Um, but now okay. that the chimney's gone, we can mark out where each of the pieces of um, kitchen cabinet is okay. going. Okay, so you guys saw before that we, the kitchen was delivered. It's an amazing uh, kitchen. It's a British brand, isn't it? I so. Yeah, amazing. And lots of work going on here. So we brought in the kitchen, but it's a standstill right now because there's still, we've got to still make good on yes. these walls. And then, as Malcolm said, um, put in where the electrical sockets go. Yeah. And the other thing is, is floor. we need to do the floor. So we've got a, a tile sample, which I think is here somewhere. Okay. That we can look at and uh, work out how that's going to. Yeah. There's a lot sit happening. Here. So that we need to get that in, then the kitchen units can go in. 
and then we'll have a kitchen. Yeah, and then we'll have a kitchen, which is really exciting. All right, let's go towards the noise, shall we? Yeah, what do they do? Okay. You guys, this is amazing. So everybody here, this is going to be the dining room. <laughs> no wonder you have a mask on Lee. Well done. So this is going to be the dining room, and um, uh, which will we're going to look at paint colors right now with Malcolm. But can you guys just tell me, this is a big process, isn't it? Yeah. It's like. It's about three, about three or four stages. Right. So you get like the, the coarse one first, which is a 40 grade. So you're changing. Changing these pads. Right, let me see. Four, you want 40, which you start off with is really coarse. Okay, 40 then, first, which is really coarse. Yeah. This is amazing. I didn't even know this worked. I thought you could just go in and just like sand it away. Then you go to 80. Then you go to 80. And then you go to 120, which is like the last one. It's a finer one. It's a finer one. Okay, so you've got to do this three times. Well, up and down until you get most of the, like, well, all the, the dark stain off it. Right. And then you process it just going over a couple of times with the next. Right. And then a couple of times with the 120. Mm. Okay. Just smooth it out. Just to smooth it out. Yeah. And you're doing the exact same thing, aren't you? But with oh, just on the edge. On the edge. On the yeah. edge. Yeah. Because the machine won't go close to the edge. Yep. Can I? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't go quite to the edge, so you've got to go around the edges. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a little go? If you want to. Yeah, I do. It's quite, it's, it's quite powerful. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? What is going to take me away? Um, no, no. Just, just, just let that down, down slowly. Okay, I'm a bit nervous. I'm actually really nervous. Like, I'm going to mess up. Okay, hold up. Okay, no, I need your guidance. Okay. So. That wasn't slow. Oh my god. Should I do it again? Yeah, okay. Hold the under like that. Have it like down slowly like that. Okay. Like that. Do I hold it? Awful. That was awful. Oh my gosh. That, did I just mess it up? No, it's so powerful though. Once you go a few times. How do you do this? Years of practice. Years of practice. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is years of practice, isn't it? If anybody thinks that this is easy, think again. Yeah. That was really difficult. I'm much better at decorating and painting than I am at, you know, I try, I try everything here. That's my thing. I do try everything here. Yeah. Okay, Lee. Yeah. Okay. So you want to really make sure you get hold of it and just hold it because it will pull you that way. It will pull you left. Okay. All right, Lee. Here I am. So I'm going to stand like this, yeah? Um, so I'd stand up so you're above it, so you've got the power above it, yeah. Okay, all right, and turn it on. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. What just happened? Yeah. Did it just is it on? No, 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 you just gotta hold it on. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. I prefer this machine. <laughs> I prefer this machine. Okay, that was that was okay. Yeah. That yeah. is so hard. That's a fail. I cannot do that one. That is, I could do that one. Yeah. But I hope you are you doing some yoga Am with I? your back? I could do with it. Yeah? 
I need to come over here and we can do like an afternoon session of yoga for everybody yeah. with your backs. This is what's gonna help your back. Right. Okay, just go like this and hang. Oh my gosh, look it. Lee can touch, let your head hang. Lee, you're flexible. In the, your legs, let your head hang. <laughs> but how does that feel on your lower back? Good. Yeah, so my advice is to do this like every time you take your tea break, hold this for two minutes. Right. Just do it for two minutes and it's gonna stretch out your lower back. That's a yoga pose, right? That was called ragdoll. I do struggle with my lower back at times. Yeah, I can see, I just did that thing. Yeah, you don't have to hold it for two minutes now, but. <laughs> um, but yeah. Right? So everybody do two minutes on your tea break and it's gonna really help your back. I just, yeah, there you go. Okay, so what we're doing here, everybody, is this is why Malcolm is here. Um, one of the many reasons is we're going to basically put a piece of a slate over this, on top of this, carry it through into, uh, into the fireplace, but, and, but we're going to knock down this concrete yeah, so you need here. Yes, you need to take that concrete base out. Right. So that you can then take a piece of slate. Well, it's pro it'll probably be done in two sections. So there'll right. be a piece that sits at the front. Right. And then there'll piece, be a piece that goes into the chamber. Because we're not making this a working fireplace, are we? Uh, not as an open fireplace. We have the possibility to put a wood burner in there if we want to. Okay. So right. Might be nice. That might be nice. One of the main reasons for me being here today is so that we can look at paint colours for each room. Um, and I've, brought, I've prepared some boards of yeah. the thing, sort of things that I think might work. All of these paints come from a company that I like working with very much called Mylands. Fantastic. Who have a really lovely um, selection of colours. So, um, because we're in the country, yes. uh, country cottage, I'm sort of veering towards sort of greens. Because, yeah. you know, everything will go with green. Yeah. So, you know, just look at the trees. Did you know that it was my favourite colour too? I didn't know that, but <laughs> <laughs> how favorite. useful. And yeah, it's very so. useful. So, perfect. Okay. So, now, because... Um, we've got an upstairs particularly we've got a lot of um, short walls because the ceiling uh, you know the, the slope of the roof yes. comes down what I suggest we do is that we paint the walls and the ceiling all the same color so okay. we use a very light color upstairs upstairs but I think what we might do is to take that theme throughout the whole cottage okay and then to bring color in on the woodwork so okay. all the skirting boards, picture rails, fire surrounds, doors, all of those sort of things then go into a colour. Colour, into which is a the, green colour. So, which is, is a green, or sort okay. of a shade of green. Yes. You know, we could use that as a colour. So it's not a white white. Right. It's got a very soft shade of grey to it. Yeah, it does. So and I like that. that. So we could paint walls and ceilings that. And then we could begin to look at using a stronger colour on the woodwork, so something like that, or possibly that. Would, and, and would we be, do we only want to stick to one color, or would we be able to mix and match? I don't know this, this is William um, Malcolm. I think because the cottage is so small, yeah. I think it's probably better to stick to one color. Okay. Because we, I mean, we've only got two bedrooms and only two reception rooms. Yeah. So I think it's better to just keep it simple. What we might do, is maybe, so for example, here in the dining room, what yeah. we might do is we might introduce <coughs> a darker color onto the wall, perhaps. And then what would you do with the ceiling? The ceiling, well, what we, we're doing here is we, we've retained the picture rail. Yeah. So what we would do is we would paint that little piece of wall above the picture rail, known as the frieze, and the ceiling, all in the same color, which would be the light color. So the would we'd be that color, exactly. Okay, so everybody can see above the picture rail, which is a very, I always think picture rails are very British, but I know we have them in America as well, but they're very British, aren't they? Well, they are for a certain period of house, yes. I think we might call them something else in America. Probably. Yeah. We do with other Comment things. down below. What do we call picture rails in America? I can't remember. It's not crown molding. No, that's a cornice. Because that's the cornice. I knew that was different. And we call them baseboards in America, and it's called skirting here. Indeed. Uh, indeed. But comment down below the picture rail. So what, we're, what Malcolm's thinking is, above the picture rail, you can see sort of, you know, I don't know, a foot, um, that you would paint it this 
sort of, uh, it's called Morgan White. Am I saying Morm that right? White. Morm what? Morm. Okay. Right, right. Okay, it's spelled M A U G H A M. Yeah. But it's right. pronounced Mom. Mm. Okay. We'll put the color down below. Uh, Mom White, number two, and the ceiling as well. And then what are you thinking then? The picture rail? So the picture rail and the walls, we could probably paint in the same color, which could be one of these greens, or maybe even this green, which I think is sort of quite soft and gentle. Um, right. And could look quite pretty in a dining room. And then what about the baseboards? Well, I think I might even then go to take the baseboard to that. Do you see? So you'd have I that see. above, you'd have that, and then you'd have that as your woodwork colour. So... I like that. So let's so take this one away. So I, think that one's, I think this one might be good for the other parts of the house, but I think for the dining room, this would look really lovely. And I think this I like is a it. particularly nice colour with um, gold picture frames or black picture frames. Yes. against it I yeah. mean, which is I think one of the things that we need to do in here is to get something great over the mirror yeah. uh, over the mantel and so it could be a mirror yes and then we're having wall lights either side here so a great picture yes above that or a print maybe in a sort of a, a reeded black frame yes with a little gold slip in it something like that yeah. perhaps lovely so, so this is what's to come everybody um, and it's we're making progress uh, so I like that. So this is just a recap. Ceiling and freeze. Ceiling and freeze. Love that. Picture rail and walls. Picture rail and walls. And then skirting board and doors. Skirting board and doors right here. So this is, we're looking at mm, museum. museum. And you probably know off the top Myrtle, here. I think. And Myrtle. Listen, that was my great grandmother's name, oh, what's Myrtle. It? So shade of green. <laughs> I always try to bring a little bit of America wherever I go. So we'll take the Myrtle great grandmother name. Okay, so this is the dining room. Happy with that. And then what we're doing, everybody, with the floors is, and this is what we do want to do. And there's going to be some controversy around that on YouTube, and people are going to have opinions. But we are stripping these, and we are going dark. Very dark. We're going very dark with maybe, our varnish. Maybe black. Maybe black. So, and it will look amazing. Yeah. And Mylands will also be supplying that. I just want to give a huge shout out to Mylands, who is kindly gifting all of their paint to, uh, to here at Keeper's Cottage. So do check out Mylands. They're brilliant British. Lovely uh, colors. Lovely, as you can see here. Look at this. I mean, amazing. Okay, Great. should we go check out the other rooms? Let's. Great, perfect. So this is what I wanted to look at with you um, up here, as I was explaining downstairs. We have these very low walls at this right. point, which then connect into the ceiling sloping up. Yes. So that's why I'm suggesting that we paint all of these, ceiling and slope and wall, all in the same colour. So we're in the guest bedroom, everybody, and the master bedroom, the primary bedroom. So we're doing exactly the same doing way. Doing the exact same because it has the sloping ceilings as well. Exactly. Right. So that's that why I'm suggesting we're doing this very pale colour, yes. which sort of works. But again, not white white. So it's no, sort no, of, it's, it's not. not stark. It's gentle. Yeah. yeah. And then. Those words. It's not stark. It's gentle. <laughs> and then we use the green yeah. as our um, woodwork colour. And what colour was what colour was that one again? Was that so this one is serpentine. serpentine. Yeah, yeah, I really like that one. So and then what will be really pretty where we have this really lovely Art Nouveau fireplace, yeah. arts and crafts fireplace, is we'll then take that colour onto that as well. Oh, I so, love that. So this uh, and then what about here where the two windows are? Which I think the windows will just do in white. Okay, and, and the, the... And the sill. Yes. And the sill. Window, sill. window sill and windows will do in white. In, in a white. Okay, and then the door. And then the door goes into this green as well. So all the woodwork, bar the windows, goes into this, this right. green. Right, green. On this side, this green. And on that side, the door will be... Green. Green. There you go. This is our woodwork colour throughout. Is it, oh my so gosh. So we're, we're just taking this theme throughout it's the lovely. whole cottage. And then what we can do is we will then, with our furnishing fabrics, we'll then bring in colours to complement these. So for okay. example, we'll probably do some little Roman blinds here. This is going to be the wall where our bed 
is. Yeah, with two bedside tables there. So we'll get bedside tables, but then we'll have bed heads, bed yeah. skirts. Yeah. And on this wall, we're doing chest of drawers, and then we'll get two little upholstered chairs either side. It's brilliant. So it's a very plain, neutral sort of background that then gives us the opportunity to bring other things yeah. in as well. Yeah, sort of, I think it's you know, such a great idea. And up. we'll do the exact same thing in the primary bedroom. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So exactly. white all around would work in the serpentine. Yes. So okay. That's okay. The, that's the thought. Okay, that's the thought. Um, brilliant. And we'll talk about bathroom later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I, some tiles to show yeah, you. Yeah, we've got some tiles as well to show okay. that. Um, do you have those? We I can, can do get them in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Break because we're gonna go look at some tiles now too. It's a busy day here at the Keeper's Cottage. So this is our colour that we're using throughout, which again, yes. I think we can bring into the bathroom. Fantastic. Now, we don't have a lot of natural light in this bathroom, and no. I think it might be good to make it a little brighter okay. with our choice of tile. So I did think about using the green tile, but I think this might work better in the guest bathroom rather than the master one. Guest bathroom is right next door. Okay. So it's either a choice of doing the white against that, which would be sort of bright and sharp and clean, Yep. Or... And it would brighten it up. And it would brighten it up. The other one we might use, just for a bit of difference, is this very soft grey. But I don't know whether or not that becomes a little dark. What do you think? Let me hold them up. What does everybody think down below? Let us know. I mean, I'm in the mind to do this. Yeah, I think I am too. Because... I think it's brighter and fresher. Yeah, and you can even see on camera, where it, we don't have lights on in here because the electrics aren't done. But I think it is brighter and fresher because it is a little, we don't yeah. have a lot of light in here. Yeah. I like that. Yes, I do too, but I think that's going to be better. And I think yeah. what we might do is rather than doing the green woodwork, I think we might take the woodwork into this color as well. Right, so we just keep everything, everything fresh. And bright. And, and bright clean. and clean. And we just do it in. Always nice in a bathroom. And what was the name of that color again? Warm white. Warm, warm white. We do the English way. Warm white. Mom white. So now I think you're right. I think we do everything. Cool. Good. And then for the, we're not going to show you the other bathroom. It's just, remember that I built the stud wall. It's there. But we are then going to bring in. I think we use the, the soft sage green tile. Tiles. The green sage. Yeah. I think that's perfect. Good. Okay, everybody. Made. So we've done it. Now we just cool. have to order all of this. That's our plan right now. Yep. So should we go do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's. Go order. Hi everybody, I am so excited because behind this door very soon is um, really, uh, I, would ha I do wanna say a famous YouTuber and I'm gonna be perfectly honest you guys, when I started my YouTube journey and in particular when I bought my little Italian house um, in Italy, one of the first channels I subscribed to was this channel. So when um, this channel reached out to me. Um, I was like, oh my gosh. I remember telling Luke, being like, oh my gosh, she's just reached out to me. I've been following her. And he's like, I know you've been following her. This is so exciting. And guess what? <laughs> she is coming for lunch today. And oh, there we go. That's the bell. So I think everybody is going to be so excited when you see who has come to Mapperton. Hi, Julie. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a dream come true for me, everybody. Hello. Um, this is Nikki from Positano Diaries. And I just kind of call you Nikki Positano. Does everybody call you that? Um, a lot of people call me that. It's, and a lot of people say, oh my God, I can't believe you've got the same surname as the place you live in. It's, it's not my surname. I know. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Um, so I've got, we've got Nikki here for lunch. So we head on in for lunch and then we're sure. going to chat to everybody here um but yeah. we're also i'm just going to point this out that i am going to get nikki and it's going to we're going to film it for your channel so do check that out i don't know how it's going to go but nikki's going to go swimming <laughs> in the 18th century i'm pool. not sure about this at all but i'm going to give it a try are you already cold thinking i'm already about cold it? just thinking it's cold out there <laughs> it is cold out there okay let's go in and have some lunch 
introduce, obviously, we've got Carlo here. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> and my, how's my Italian? Okay. You heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> so, and we've got your brother-in-law, Craig. Yes, this is Craig, my brother-in-law. So, and this is what's crazy, everybody, is that Craig, you live about 10 minutes from here, is that right? Right, yeah. Yeah, 10 And minutes. he's also a yoga instructor. And you're a yoga yes. instructor. Yes. Oh my goodness, so we've got a lot to talk about over lunch. Yeah. We do. <laughs> but if you're as obsessed with Italy as I am, you should definitely, as I was saying before, when Nikki and I met at the door, one of the first channels I subscribed to was Positano Diaries. And just tell everybody about your channel because you really are the big, for me, the big YouTuber well, in Italy. Thank you. I don't think of myself as that at all. <laughs> but um, basically, I live in Positano, which is on the Amalfi Coast, so in South Italy, south of Naples. And we live in a house which is nearly 500 steps from the road, so it's really awkward to get to and quite tiring. And we have our own vegetable garden. We're semi-self-sufficient there. And I just wanted to share with people what life is like in Positano because it's not the easiest place to live because people go there for a holiday and they say, oh my God, this is just the dream. This is so beautiful. And yes, it's stunning there, but it's also very different when you're living there because if you've got, let's say, five bags of shop shopping and a three-year-old that is tired and needs to be carried and 500 steps and pouring rain, it, it is pretty tough. I mean, when Skye was little, we never had a pushchair. I carried her until she was old enough to walk because you can't. And, right, yeah. And oh kids grow gosh. up pretty much without bicycles and roller skates and things like that because it's all, hor it's all um, not horizontal, the other one, vertical. Vertical, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to just bring awareness, one, of what it's like to actually live there and two, I wanted to make people aware of all the things to do in the area because a lot of people go to Positano and stay right on the main beach, which right. is beautiful, but very, very busy. And if you come away from the main beach, there's so much more to see in the town, on the whole coastline, on the peninsula and the surrounding areas as well, including Naples and Salerno. There's a lot to see and do there. So I like to give people opportunities to discover more things to do when they come to visit the area. Yeah. Amazing. And we were talking earlier, we didn't get this on camera, but we'll say it now is you had one video go really viral and I, yeah. it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to go watch it after lunch, <laughs> but tell everybody what video that is. They've probably was... all seen it. It's, it was, a, it was a video. We didn't know what to film. We had to film something, but we had to get some food in. So we went grocery shopping and we called it grocery shopping in Italy. <laughs> and it might've been a, a tag title saying how to get your shopping down, how to do shopping when you've got 500 steps or something like that. Cause right, we did right. show us bringing it home. And yes, for some reason, a lot of people watch that video. Yep. So. It's good. <laughs> anyway, we've been carrying a little bit of shopping to make a little bit of lunch for everybody. Okay. Yes. So, so shall we sit down and we, eat, um, we shall and, yeah, grab Thank some you. food before it gets cold? Yes, exactly. So um, we've just sort of done. Did you dress the salad, I'm Luke? I have overcooked almost everything. <laughs> That's okay. Well done. I shouldn't be left in charge. It's really much better given to Julie. <laughs> I've overcooked the asparagus. I've overcooked the pies, but we'll just have to cope. That's you fine. have overcooked yeah, the pies, yeah. but. <laughs> oh well, oh well. For those meat eaters, we've got smoked salmon, lemon, we've got salad, we've got... Uh, are you vegan? No, that's fine. Vegetarian, you like me. So what we have is we've got halloumi, hummus, olives, tomatoes, and a big lovely salad and lovely bread. Okay, um, wherever you guys want to go. Do you yeah. want to go... Why don't... If I, I'll go there yeah, because that's right usually there. weirdly yeah. where I sit. Don't yeah. even ask. <laughs> and then if I'll Nikki... Carlo and Luke here. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're going to enjoy our lunch, everybody. But do please, please, please check out Positana Diaries. It's been a really, for me, so exciting to have Nikki here, as well as Carlo, as well as Craig, as well as Holly, as well as India um, coming to stay. Do check out because you're going swimming with me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so check out that video, everybody. Go check out that video. And with not, that... Not on our channel. You gotta that's go that's online, what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah you got to go to... If you want to see what happens... <laughs> <laughs> I won't give it away. Anyway, um, should we say... Um, bon appetito. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. <laughs> Ciao.
clearly cold here, isn't it, Martin? Very cold. I mean, we're both wearing hats. <laughs> um, Keepers is coming along. We haven't had a lot of videos about Keepers recently because it was Christmas. We were doing a lot of Christmas videos. But can we just explain, Martin, what's happened? Because you can see that this wall has been painted with the first coat. Yeah. But then what happened? And obviously, when the, there's no heating on here, uh -huh. over, t uh, over the night, it gets really cold. Uh -huh. Cold conditions outside, whatever. And obviously, it's all just starting to, like, effervescence is starting to come through, which is like a salt coming in from the from outside as well. Right. So it's just peeling. So obviously, we've got enough to seal it. But... So now we've got, to, we've got to take all this off. But no, only the, only the loose bits. Obviously, all these bits that we filled in, if it comes off, I scrape it. Yeah. And then we put the sealer on, let it dry over, well, let's, overnight and then tomorrow, I expect. And then maybe um, we can fill it again and then paint it again. Hopefully, and it won't come through again this time. Right, okay. But okay. obviously, you can't tell when you put the first coat on, you can't tell if it's going to do it, it or not. Yeah, no, no. But the cold conditions, you feel the walls, they're freezing. Well, and, as well. and we, haven't, we haven't hooked up any of the radiators. No, not yet. Clearly. No, no, <laughs> no. And it's cold. Yeah. But what do you think of the colors? Pretty. I like, right? the, I like that the green. green, I must admit. Yeah. I do like that. So you yeah. guys can see the door. This is just first coat of the door. Yeah. And that one was called, Malcolm and I picked it up. There's serpentine. Serpentine. That yeah, one serpentine. Is, and then yeah. the other one was called. Uh, oh. Cool. There's two greens, everybody. I'll look yeah. at it because I'm going to go next door. Yeah. But Mylan's is this amazing. Do you know about Mylan's? I've paint. used Mylan's, not the paint. I've used some of their products before. Yeah. Um, it's good I, think, I think it's something like um, some sort of sealer or yeah. or maybe not in us. Something like that, that sort of like range of it. Well, yeah. I'm not actually the paint, but I must admit this paint's really good. Also, Martin, for the floors, which are looking outstanding, right, yeah. we're going to, I know this is going to, everybody's going to be like, what? Yeah. But we're going black, so we're really? going to use a black varnish against the green. Just wait, everybody, against the green. That's what we're going to go. <laughs> I thought you might have said a dark brown, maybe. Well, it, no, we're going to go. Really? Yeah, we're going to go. Mm. We're going to. But Mylands has this so amazing. Like walnut would be nice and stuff like that. Yeah, Mylands has this. It's not going to be like this, like excruciating mm. sort of black, like this black, black, yeah. black. If that makes sense, because mm. it's going to be varnish on top of the wood. Mm. So I think it's going to look really nice. Mm. Um, anyway, you know, well, that's our plan, and that's going to be Mylands as well. So yeah. you're going to get. I'm going to go to check out the paint colors. Mm. But it's amazing mm. what's happening. And um, you're back next week, is that right? Is yeah, back next week, week, yeah. Okay, great. Yes. Good. Um, it's to take shape. Okay. All right, back in the master bedroom. And it's, wow. So we've got, so the amazing, our paint has arrived. And again, it was gifted by Mylands. Thank you so much, Mylands. And... We've gone with uh, serpentine. So we've gone with uh, white. Um, it's called um, Mogham White. And then the, we're doing two different types of greens. That's what Malcolm and I, you've probably seen that before from the paint boards that we did. But we're doing Myrtle Green and we're doing uh, Serpentine. So we're doing Serpentine. And Serpentine is upstairs. Myrtle Green, I think, is more of the darker one. Anyway, they're not opened, but I'm going to quickly get one out. Here we go. Here we go. So it's Myland House of Colors. And here's a serpentine one. Um, it is rather exciting. It's beautiful tin, too. So beautiful tin. Um, I might just take this out. And yeah, so you can just have a little look here. But very, very exciting um, that it's all happening and I'll show you the serpentine color upstairs we haven't started with the myrtle green downstairs but we have done uh, serpentine one coat on just the so it's probably you've seen it before in the other videos Malcolm and I discussed how the baseboards and the door frames and the doors themselves would be up here would be serpentine green, and then the walls are the mogham white. So 
again, these it still has another coat to do and some filling to do and some little bits because it gets quite cold uh, at night. So we've got to, um, Martin, as he said, he's got to put this sealer on. But it's making, it's progress, everybody. This should be done uh, in the next few weeks. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is going to happen. Malcolm and I still have a lot more to do because we have a lot more furniture to get, but we have been collecting it over time. We found a couple pieces at sort of what I like to call the furniture uh, store here at Mapperton, which is in a building um, over at Marsh Farm, one of the farms on the estate. Um, yeah, so green, and I will be having a hand at painting as well um, once we get downstairs. And so I really want to paint that myrtle green. But yeah, thank you to Mylands. Do check out Mylands. They are literally quintessentially British. Amazing, amazing paints. Uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic.